Hi, my name is Dara and I'm a technical support engineer here at Simply Nook and today we're going to look at upgrading the RAM and SSD on a Porcupine unit. So first of all, you want to make sure you're ESD safe and you have a Phillips head screwdriver, you have your RAM and your SSD as that's what you'll be upgrading with. So now we're going to flip the unit upside down and unscrew with the four screws in each corner. I'll do that now. So you want to tilt the unit on its side and hold the base plate so it doesn't fall out and then just let it fall like that and place it to the side. And remember the orientation of the base plate as you'll need to put that back on the same way later. So here we have our RAM and our SSD underneath an SSD heatsink and this differs from the 4x4 unit. So what you need to do to take out the RAM is you need to clip out these two little metal clips on the side of the RAM just like such. The RAM will pop up at a 45 degree angle and then you can pull it straight out like that. And you can do the exact same with the RAM underneath it. There you go, and you can pull it straight out like that. To take out the SSD, what you need to do is unscrew the two screws on the SSD heatsink. So the SSD heatsink is unscrewed now and you can take it out. Just be careful of the thermal pads as they are very easy to fall off. So now our SSD is exposed and just be careful of this wire here. And all we have to do now is unscrew the M.2 screw holding down the SSD. Now you can see the SSD has popped up at about a 30 degree angle. Now you can just pull that straight out as such. There we go. Sometimes you might have your screw fall into the chassis. It's okay to lift your unit upside down and just let it drop out. Just like that. So to install your new SSD, you take the new one and you slot it underneath this wire and you put it, push it into the M.2 slot at about a 30 degree angle, just like you took out the SSD, previous SSD. And you take your SSD M.2 screw and you screw that down. You now have your SSD installed, but don't forget to return your SSD heatsink on top. So now you have the SSD heatsink back on top of the SSD. And to install your RAM, you take your RAM stick with the gold pins and push it into the bottom RAM slot at about a 45 degree angle, just like that, until the gold pins have disappeared. Then all you have to do now is just push it down until it clicks. Perfect. And you can do the exact same with the other stick of RAM and push it down too until it clicks. And now you've installed your new SSD and RAM. So now what we need to do now is pay, place our base plate back on in the exact same orientation that we have taken it off. Then we take our four screws, pop them in each of the holes in the corners. And now we just screw them down. And there you have it. You've now upgraded your RAM and SSD in your porcupine unit. Thank you very much.